Welcome back to Vice Grip Garage. Guy made a unauthorized purchase. It was, listen, it's, it's notable. You know what I mean? So hopefully that check doesn't get cashed for a week or two. What a guy's gonna do is start thinning the herd out, make up for it. You know what I mean? And first on the chopping block is this beautiful, something 70s yep square body ramp truck really nice machine listen we're gonna bring it around even more try to make this thing 78 percent roadworthy should be a lot of fun <sighs> nope could be bowling We got all the wind on the tires. Oh, there goes the left knee. Right one went a minute ago. Anyway, bought this rig, you know, down in Georgia. About, I think it was 12.45 a.m. off the face space. Impulse purchase. See, I was stuck. Had a mid-engine AMC somewhere around here. I was, uh, well, I was sick with carbon monoxide poisoning. And I think that's what kind of decided the purchase for me. You know what I mean? But anyway, it's got a newer winch and st steering wheel is pretty nice. And uh, windshield's great, you know. But there's a lot of other things that maybe we can clean up real quick. First step is we gotta see if this thing fires up again. It's been a long time that it's been sitting here. So let's dig in here. Let's dig in here. It's got a Vortec. It's got a Vortec engine under here. And uh, I mean, I remember it running pretty good. We're just gonna have to jump it off and let's get it up to the pole barn get her backed in and then we can really start holy smokehouse what is going on then we can really start assessing <sighs> might need a hood hinge what's going on you know truth went on ahead and be told i kind of like on this truck a lot but then i picked up that black ramp truck and you know, it's a little bit better than this. On account of the additional seating, settle down, everything else is the same. So I picked up a different hood for it. I mean, I was gonna snazz this thing up, but now I think we just gotta kinda get rid of her, you know. So we'll jump alize it, got batteries. I don't think it's changed one lick since we brought her home. Yeah, I mean, it's exactly how I left it from the road trip. There's my charger cord, shoot. And then it's kind of just been a carry-all for things. We got boat parts and big block Chevy and Ford mirrors. And bird eaters and scout wheels and firebird wings and hubcap laters and ford ranger parts and brake bleeders and oh these brand new what size are they 14s what did i need 14s for something coming up and then recyclables yes that's the old bumper off the hemi half and then this is a turbski 350 i think we will go on ahead and rebuild so I'm gonna hang on to this. We'll throw her up somewhere. Even made a rod to hang in this thing that goes into the stuff, you know? Good unit is what I'm saying. 
I think that's still Ford related. But I mean, that's where we're at. Somehow, some way, the wheels held on with 40% of the lug nuts they need to have, have held wind all this time. There's my good, and my little axle strap. I'll be dipped. And my deerskin gloves. What a good day. Anyway, gotta clean this thing out. We gotta fix the shifter. You know, for some reason or another. Put the hood on. These tires are dry rotted. I can't even believe I made it back, especially hauling a rig. In fact, I think that rig is right up there. But we're gonna fix that. I should try to find some lug nuts. Maybe we'll address this battery tray, the hood issue, like I said. Maybe the radiator is held in with straps. We got some work to do, is what I'm saying. Let's get after it. Bailey's holding the hood up for a guy. I noticed this straight away. What kind of a... I might need to get a wrench on there. I think this used to go in there or something. I gotta plug that. I got a capitalizer, but maybe I just need a boltalizer. Something to shut that down. I'm not seeing anything laying around. Before I even start twirling on this, that's gonna need to be addressed. Ain't got no digital chokes, so we're gonna have to pump on it. You know, the Michael Jackson dance on the throttle. And then maybe it'll fire, you know? Are you getting, it's getting heavy? Yeah. All right, grab the charger box, throw it on these things. This is a mess. I mean, I could clean that up a little bit, but I don't know if we're going to do that or not. Of course, the guy tried the caster first, but it was the wrong size wheel later bolt size. So I moved on to just plucking the, you know, the, there's a valve, check valve. Threw her in there and maximized the clamp later with the old best tool in the world. Bailey's got the jump later on here. I think the keys are in it. So let's go twirl on this thing. If I remember right, yep, it's got a digital pump. So we'll let that feed some fuel into the edel broken. And then we'll see if this thing fires up. I don't hear the pump running. Oh, there's the pump. Jiggle the cables on the boost box. You digging a little, little, little? Huh? Well, what in the devil? There's my other good cord. And my snatch block. And my going to town t shirt. What is this? I don't know. Okay, so. Is our jump box dead? What in. What is going on here? Go try to crank on her now. Huh. That doesn't seem right. Try it now. Okay. Turn her off. Huh. Never got a good battery. Doesn't matter the time, the day, the month, the season, the planet. Listen, it's never happened before. But the battery's dead. And, uh, well, the good news is I have about 26 other batteries in the pole barn but they're also, you know, equivalent. So we're gonna run up there, put one on boil mode for a while, and then I think we'll bring one of them down with, what do we need? 3 8 half inch, 7 16 vice grip hammer. And then we'll put that in 
and probably the same thing's gonna happen again. So then we'll spend another 30 minutes going to get the tractor and then we're just gonna pull this back to the pull barn. Okay, plan. This is a good caster though. This is not bearing. No, it's shot, but I'll bring it around. There's a failure to communicate. I believe what we got here is batteries and series parallels. They're next to each other. We got their... I'm deleting on it, is what I'm saying, for the time being. And I'm gonna just, oh, well, that was tight. I'm gonna just put in one good battery, try to isolate the engine or the starter, get that going, because all this Mickey Mouse, the cable crossovers to the sciences squared, is to run the hinge in the back. We don't need that this second. I just need this to move into the pole barn. So let's go ahead and unhook all of these really tight connections. What is, oh, this was just hammered over the battery post. I must have done that. And then we'll put in a new used old battery that's probably dead and then see if it does the same thing. Likely. Okay. All right. Yeah. Ah, get out of here. Get out of here, asshole. Okay. What in the devil? These are tied together? Okay. Parachute core, one by six, stink bugs. I don't know what that does. <sighs> things are, things are getting sideways immediately. Great. Yes. Yes. Go start. Didn't work. Anyway, the starter positive was bolted to the sad cable to the frame which was swooped over to the positive of the second battery, which is the 17 of these. Also, wait a second, where does this go? Is that another ground cable? Oh, the, what am I even hooking on to what? I just, okay, that was another ground. I stand corrected, the fuel smell is violent under here. Look at this. I mean, this is a, this is a positive. We'll use this as a sad, because I'm confused at this juncture, okay? Bailey snailizing out the old cable there, and we'll put in this thing. Uh, it's got the right, you know, top post, to the, that one will go to the frame. It's got a bunch of adapter roonies, just loose connections and things like that so we'll get rid of that see this one we need an adapter or i'd have to cut it and waste seven dollars putting the clamp later top post connector on it so we'll do it this way instead cheaper easier but that one goes in inventory all right you. got your tippy toes yeah yeah just fight through that Looks like we got a body ground, fuel pump ground, and then of course the battery ground. All tied into one here. Hats! No, you gotta do hats when you lift. No. Try it again. Hats! Nope. nope. You're close. Let me see if I can get it. Hats! Whoops. A little, a little too hot. This is specific for the vehicle. No, this is just got the go handle. But anyway, should work. Actually, let me let me bring it around this way. Oh, it's safe. What am I doing? I just never seen such a. No, that ain't gonna work because that's gonna hit the hood. Well, 
burning in the mud. <sighs> sure. Maybe that's the body ground. Is just smacking into this. Not quite sure. Wrong size post lighter. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, depending on the group and model number, you can change that. So I'm going to take out this custom fabricated dual battery tray and try to get the battery lower to where the post isn't blowing sparks off the hood here. I mean, otherwise we'll just take the hood all the way off. You know, I ain't too worried about it, I guess. Are you done yet? Oh. Well, you only got like seven left, so good job. Be back in 15. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Lightning cube in, too short. She's a little taunt, that's all right. This is just bent on there. I, yeah. So like I was saying, we'll leave those for now. That's plugged, digital pump. There's a skosh of fuel and a fill tray there. So I think we're just gonna twist on the key, see if we get this thing fired up. All right, the engine ran really well, actually, if I'm being honest. Let's see if it fires up. All right. Yep. <clears throat> Shot of fuel. Oh, I don't hear the fuel pump later. Oh, I bet that's on the, I bet that's on the other strand of what in the world is going on, is what I'm trying to say. This, where does that go? Pete's sake, ouch! Got to look into the digitals. I think the red wire that turns into a brown wire that's taped into a black wire that's taped into a yellow wire is the fuel pump lighter, but it ain't pump lighting. So I need to investigate that because the key is forward right now. And that should just be a whirlwind, but it's not. So let me uh, check that out quick. Found it, ground wire. Well, I mean, you get the point. So the eyelet snapped this off. So I'm gonna fix that with the ground fuel pump clamp. Now it looks like this. And I'm just gonna boop right on there. That should bring that back around. Here we go again now. Fuel pump, pump laden. Give her a couple shots. Look at that. Are you looking at it? I can't believe it, but I guess I got to. I'm looking right at it. Ooh. Water pump doesn't sound good. Oh, I bet I emptied this rat out. She could be dry. Yep. Rat's dry. Gotta hurry. We need to move this right now. Well, the guy shut her down because, you know, I kind of forgot about. I got to do something with all that stuff. So let me move all of this quick. Then we'll sneak her up to the pole barn. I shut her down. I found a gallon of antifreeze or coolant. Oh, I hear it leaking on the ground. Forgot to close the petcock and the rad. There goes 13 bucks. That's great. So anyway... Gonna unload all this, then we'll sneak her up to the barn. Well, I think we evenly dispersed the product between different vehicles, stuff like that. Tire stack, that'll go behind the shop in a minute. Look at this hood, though. I know. You ain't ever seen anything like that, I understand. That's why I bought it. Beautiful hood. This is ready for paint, actually. Just need scuffed and shot, but we'll see if we can get the rig 
back up to the pole barn. Start fixing and cleaning. All right, fire this up again. One of the things I gotta fix is a shifter because she wanders. There we go. All right, off we go. Got her over on the other property. Look how thick this bondo is. I had forgotten. Holy smokehouse. Bailey's cleaning up the mess. I left the petcock open on the rad. Engine runs great. Oh, it's too bad they just sprayed this orange hideous paint over everything. Even the, the trim. What are you, why are you doing that? Who knows? Anyway, she fit in here just barely. We'll get to work on it straight away. I think the first thing we could probably do, real quick like, is get rid of these dry, rotten, sketchy tires and these old wheels. Now the plan is, we'll take the wheels and tires off of this truck, the crew cab, one of my dailies here, because I've got another set of wheels and tires I want to put on this truck, and actually we could test fit the wheels and do some measurement for tires here in a little bit, but these will look great on that truck. It's the same bolt pattern, and I've got a couple extra lug nuts we can rob off of this one for now, because this is going to sit on jack stands for a little bit. But these here are Hannah Cookuses, Donna Bruce, Attitudes. Probably only have 4,500 miles. Pretty near brand new. So we'll throw them on the other rig. And should look pretty nice. We'll clean up the rims a little bit. They got some brake dust on them and stuff like that, but those should snip right onto here. Well, the crew cab here is up on stilts, you know, hobo freight jack stands. They were supposed to be turned in a couple of years ago, but still running them. I like, I like a little risk and I don't get a lot of time to gamble. You know what I mean? Any hoose, we're going to get the stud twister 12,000 out. Take three nuts off and just snap the rest. Get these off. Maybe we'll even, well, we'll see. But we're going to test fit the other wheels here soon. But I'm thinking, yeah, we got to jack up this truck. Take the, I got to figure out how to, because I ain't got enough of the porpoises and the galvanized and the hydraulics. I never got, I never have enough of something. Dang it. One off. Well, that's looking pretty good. Bailey's gonna clean up the wheel and tire a little bit. Got that old boy off. Not looking too bad. I mean, that don't need turned. Got plenty of material left. Shock is it's there. Custom exhaust, remember that? Still in there. And I'll hang on to these. Look at the tread on these, but they're just a little, they're kind of, they're dry rotted, basically. I'm gonna rebuild the bearings in here quick. You know, all this stuff. And what I mean by that is, rebuilding bearings. <laughs> Outer bearing complete. This is looking like a new hub. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes. Gotta pack these bearings in a little bit. Oh, there we go. Yeah. A little more grease. Brand new. Let's put a caliper in while we're in here. That's looking better. Sweet. Boy, they're bright white once you clean them, huh? Yeah. Until they're dirty. Yeah, it's 
Bring her in. Oh, you really cleaned them up. Wow. Good work, bud. <laughs> yeah. Now everyone's really going to look at the truck and go, why would he put the nice powder coat wheels and brand new tires on there? Because! You know? Yeah, you guys, you guys understand. Thanks, son. Ah. Ah. Yep, yep. That's, yeah. yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, much better. Much, much better. All right, tires and wheels. You've heard me say this. They make it or break it on pretty much any vehicle made. And this is just, it's bringing her around compared to that. I mean, it's basically the same wheel, right? It's just these are powder coated and clean. And then it's got white letter tires, which makes every vehicle better. So onto the rear, you want to jam the jack under the rear pumpkin, get her up. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Back, just a tick. Bring her back. Up. Oh. Snag it, there you go. Nope, back, yep, <laughs> go. Sure. This should lift off right away. There ain't much suspension on this old dog. Rear's snagged off. Bailey's gonna clean these up quick. I'll go get the rears off of the pumpkin. And we'll do the same switcheroo. Let me show you the wheels thinking about on uh, this rig right here. Boom, Detroit steel wheel, 18 by, yes, all of it, much wider. Kind of that old school GM Chevrolet rally look. Had them put the clips or retainers on there. Guy's gonna go ahead and put the original style poverty caps on, you know, the dog dish caps, but just having a hard time finding the original set for three quarter tons to allow for the hub in good condition that just aren't all beat up or faded but i think that's going to look a lot better and then we'll put a little bit more of a low profile tire on here instead of those big truck tires not that a guy needs to go any lower for pete's sake but it's going to be tucked in there a little bit more and still need to figure out the rear end on this but that's a project for another time Trucks on the ground with its new shoes and looking really, really good. A lot better. Now, got to take care of this hood situation because, well, the hood is not very, it's not doing hood things. So the irony is ironic, or it's, it's thick or whatever the saying is. That hood hinge actually ended up in the crew cab. So now I've got to go out to Rusty Acres or Hubcap Hills find another hinge and get this hood off. I think I'm gonna go get the hinge first and I'm gonna get this Flexolite Bendy 4000 off. We'll see if we can fit up the other one. This one needs a little bit of, a little bit of love too. She's a little bent on. That rig, I got plans for her. She's a little beat up, doesn't have a title. Coming soon. This one has a title it's called Acorns, it's from Colorado. I got some, you know, goals to fix on this, but I need that hood sooner than I need this hood working. So I think we're gonna go ahead and take the hinge off of this one and try to get the hood closed again without bending this up. Cause this hood's in pretty decent shape other than don't even, let's pretend you didn't see that. You know what I mean? Give me a few minutes, I'll knock this hinge off. We'll get back to the pole barn. <laughs> 58 and a half days later, got a hinge and like three of four bolts. Well, one's not technically correct, and another one's short. So one good bolt. That should be. That should be fine. 
So it's going to want to go like this. So if you just sound like this, I'll try to catch it with my face, okay? This is going to get sketchier than an Etch-a-Sketch. I ain't kidding you. Oh boy. Okay. Now, if we can get the pipe lighter out. Can I take that for a second? Put it down. And I'll grab that side. Now we'll just take her for a walk. You know what I mean? That's all right. Let's, let's take her for a walk. Let's go that way though. This way is full. There. Good job, bud. That wasn't so bad, huh? Oh, I'm dropping it. I don't know. These Chevys are made of tornadoes and gossip. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this other hinge later on. It should be pretty near, yep, you know, because GM, everything's the same. They make it simple to work on, see? So even though it's not the right year or even close, boop, that's gonna go right on in there. Why is the dipstick hanging out? It says it's got oil on it, sure. I'm just gonna put that back, I guess. Boy, it's a lot nicer to work on these rigs with the hood off. Step one, always. All right, do you wanna put the hinge on? Yeah, you do. Here's the hardware. Okay, replace the missing hardware. Tried to re-bend the band but bending the band is about to bend into a snap, so I stopped bending it. But I think it's still gonna do the hinge thing. We're ready on the back, we're gonna try to lift her up. Bailey only weighs, how much do you weigh now? 80 pounds, so the hood weighs more than him. That's, <laughs> that's fine. We're gonna try to make her happen though, any who's. As long as we don't shove it through the windscreen, we're good. Alright, good job, just like that. And then this angle, you've already got the angle, so now we just need to set it on the hinges. Okay, come back. Okay, hang it right there. Come up here and hold it for a second. This one had hardware in it, dude. Yeah. Christmas, these are hard to find. Doing okay. The latch should be hanging on there, you know. This means it's gonna have the correct hardware in the hinges, which is, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, ready? Yep. Yeah. Just like that. Can you hold it there? Then, can a guy Sneak, just sneak it up here. Just sneaking a bolt in, that's all. Okay, same thing over here. Let me just sneak one more. Is it getting tall on you? There, you can let go. Good job, buddy. Uh-oh. What do we got here? Thingy that won't go in there. Something isn't the same. <laughs> I think we can take this out. Let's go look at the other hoods. No one Chevrolet. We should be able to. You know what I mean? So this is a style latch we need on the hood there. So we're gonna bust this one off quick. Go throw it on the other hood. See if we can get her to line up decently. Look at this, just been tacoed. There, this one's even worse. Way back here it was tacoed. Bent in half here, they welded a plate in, tried to stop it, welded it out here, and tried to stop it. He just greased the hinges, fellers. And then stop pulling down. It's in and shake and in. And shake and in and then down. Not just down. You're welcome. Kind of just 
just test fit them here. Grab that light over there, would you? Oh, this hood's weak. It's got a split in it already. Back it down. Back it down. Oh, man. It's just... I think she's right on the money. I need the 9 16 so we'll snug this puppy up. Yep! Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. You want to go get some water displacement on the 40th Tri Juice? We'll squirt up the hinges a little bit, okay? Well, hood's looking pretty good. Gonna have to do something though. It's already kinkalizing. I got something for that here in just a second. Got to lubricate on the hinges, make sure everything's moving right. You know, got this pretty well lined up. I'm gonna wait to torqueize on that until we get the hingulators done. This has got some pretty good waller in her, so we can make a little bit of adjustment there if need be. As far as the gaps go, you know, she's factory. You could put a watermelon in this side and a piece of paper on the other, so perfect. Thank you. So on these old square body trucks, you guys have seen it. It's really common when folks don't mantenance on the springs and hinges and whatnot. They bend right here. You saw the old hood, terrible shape. This one's well on its way. Metal is already ripped on this side, unfortunately, and it's getting close on the other. But Vice Grip Garage has a fix for that. The Hood Saver 6000. <laughs> It's a real part. We're actually gonna go bust them out on the table really quick, throw them on this truck, and just try to slow this down, help prevent this from getting any worse. Here's the two Hood Saver 6000s. We just gotta line it up on the table and get her going. You wanna line them up? Yeah, where's the remote? There you go, bud. side's kind of already setting in there don't have the bolts in here yet but this side's bent so it's easier to show you but how I made these is this provision is for your front hinge bolt and then you can run nut certs or self tappers and these holes here and basically just slides in like that fasten it to your hood and this will help prevent that dreaded kink right there. Nut certs are the way to go, but I think I might provide some big self-tappers with this. Not out yet, but coming very, very soon. Here's a set of those I fox would for the crew cab. They got some orange and black spotter and silver and stuff like that, but they'll match the underside of the hood here. Nice. Earlier, I couldn't pull the hood down. Had the shimmy shake, lean on it and stuff. <laughs> All right, hood done. Looks a lot better. Where are these scratches from? I don't know. Well, we're making progress tonight. Tires and wheels are on, looks much better. Different hood is on, although it's not even painted, still million times better it's not you know what i mean got the hood saver 6000s on now we're going to go on the inside we're going to clean this thing out and i've got to do something with the shifter it's just it's a flop -a -laden. i think i put it in like a summit racing parking lot with a piece of bubble gum and bailing wire which that's fine you know but maybe we can make it hang on to the floor a little bit better Bailey's gonna clean this thing out and I'm gonna start rocking the brain cells for an idea to hold that shifter in place.
Bailey opened the door and said, geez, you must have lived in this thing. Well, I reminded him I basically did for three days or so, throwing away a bunch of stuff. No vacuum or out. Starting to come up with some ideas here. Basically, I gotta get a pedestal or a plate or something for that shifter, because really there's only two bolts holding the front in, so it's flopping when a guy goes to shifter. Guy whipped up this plate really quick. Shifter will sit in here. This will attach to the floor, the hump. Cable goes through there. I don't know, maybe that'll work. Well, fellers, she ain't perfect, but we got support down here now. Much, much, much better. That's good enough for the girls we date. We got a shifter. It's looking pretty clean. I think Bailey wanted to get in here and wipe the seat out a little bit, maybe even the dash. Well, I think the guy's gonna let that battery tray situation alone for the next feller. You know what I mean? But there we go. Runs, drives, looks better, hood issue fix. Everything is cleaned up, got her good enough, scoot down the road. It's definitely roadworthy in a few states, anyway. Thanks guys for watching. Don't stay up too late now. Santa Claus might not come if you're poking around by the television and whatnot. Hope you guys have an amazing Christmas morning. Thanks for watching as always. We'll see you soon.